This is example 3.4. It reads, a man with a body mass of 75 kilograms stands in a moving elevator. The normal force applied upward on the man's feet by the elevator floor is 680 newtons. A. What is the man's weight? B. What is the net external force acting on the man from both gravity and the net normal force? Give both magnitude and direction. So, we're going to start with a full body diagram. We have a normal force upward, which we're going to consider positive, and we have a weight downward, which we are going to consider negative. His normal force, as we know, is given to us, which is 680 newtons. And for part A, we have to find the man's weight. We find weight by multiplying his mass times the force of gravity. His mass is given to us, which is 75 kilograms. Multiply that by 9.8 meters per second squared and we get a weight of 735.75 newton. For part B we're used to apply this weight and find his net external force acting on the man. We do this by subtracting his weight from the normal force. We're subtracting because this weight we decided was negative. So we're going to do 680 newtons minus 735.75 newtons, and we get negative 55.75 newtons. Now, since we have this negative, we know that that means the downward direction. Because we have this negative here, it doesn't mean there's a negative force. It means that this force with a magnitude of 55.75 newtons is in the downward direction. So that's example 3.4.